Interview. Interview. L'interview du jour. Sur Air Diwa, sans cette On the air on Radio Diwa with Karine Melzer. Hello. Hello. Est-ce que tu peux nous rappeler ce qu'est Biovalley Can you remind us what is Biovalley So Biovalley is the territorial association which covers the entire Drome drainage basin, which includes three districts, the Diwa, the Crétois and the Val de Drome. It gathers all the actors of the territory concerned by the ecological and social transition, local associations, firms, communities, inhabitants. And your part? Mainly to be in charge of monitoring the innovations in the territory. A territory of innovation is in fact a major state program within an investment program for the future, and the aim is for the area to suggest territorial innovations in line with an ecological transition. In our Biovalley territory, we wanted to combine different dimensions of the transition, and therefore we have an axis around agriculture and food, an axis around mobility, an axis around energies, and then an important axis which is the collecting and transmission of knowledge, particularly the transition in rural areas. For instance, about the agriculture and food dimension, we aim at 80% of organic and local food in school catering. And we also want to impact other kinds of collective catering, such as in old age homes, firms, etc. Finally, we have to take into account biodiversity by developing plantations of hedges. We have set up a whole program of planting fruit trees, which is also a way to involve the inhabitants. And it's also a way of joining them on food issues, because where fruit trees are concerned, food autonomy is concerned too. We have a district which is very representative of everything that can be done at a national level. Today, organic farming in our district represents a little more than 1,000 organic farms, which makes us, in terms of number, almost the first department of France. Then, concerning outlets, we have a lot of well-developed commercial circuits, distribution centers, wholesale facilities, specialist wholesalers, and we also have direct selling with specialized networks, such as Biocop, Biomonde and others. Nowadays, many farmers develop their own stores with the help of the GAB, that is the Organic Farmers Group. Which means that today all sorts of chains supply food. Our aim is to keep a balance between these different structures. The idea is to show what field work really is, and the range of possibilities around agriculture, and how, above all, we manage to keep virtuous circles. It is important to show all this to citizens through tourism and particularly agrotourism. I have been elected for six years on my territory, which unfortunately is not part of the Bio Valley. And today I acknowledge that other territories might become biodistricts. This could allow maybe the development of more ambitious projects and more representative of what the Dromois territory really is. From soil to breeding, from woods to landscapes, it is a very rich territory and today there is a need to organize it in a more efficient and strategic way from my point of view. On the mobility axis, the challenge is to develop decarbonated mobility. But then, being in a rural area, we need vehicles. We must see how to share them more. Perhaps also move towards hydrogen mobility. We have actors in the territory who are working on this dimension. Our aim is also quite simply to deliver information on the modes of transportation and thus facilitate changes in the practices of inhabitants. I am the manager of Dromolib, a mobility agency in rural areas. It is an association promoting eco-mobility to reduce our car dependency. With the support of the Comcom, particularly the Val de Drome Comcom, the idea is to find how to help people change their habits and be ready to use new ways to reduce our car dependency.
More than 70% of trips are made by private car. Half these trips are made over short distances, ranging from 1 to 3 km. These are trips that can be very easily done otherwise, by bicycle for instance. So we're going to give the information to the inhabitants and make them change their habits in daily life. We have started to work around four themes. First, an entertainment project, including initiation workshops, producing ideas from different actors' experience. The second theme is about helping communities, associations, firms, by studying travels between homes and workplaces, aiming at reducing car dependency. We are also a training organization for eco-driving. Sometimes we have no choice but to take a car. The issue is how we can reduce our fuel consumption and then gradually be in an eco-mobility approach. Finally, we also have initiatives concerning the rental of electrically assisted bicycles. For 20 euros, residents can test whether the purchase of an electrically assisted bicycle meets their requirements. On the energy dimension, we have two inputs. First, to reduce energy consumption on the territory, possibly in a big program of renovation of the buildings. Second, to improve the local production by green energy operators with the aim of reaching autonomy within a few years. Acoprev is a power station created in 2018 in Val de Camp at the initiative of the mayors. The main purpose, at first, was to produce local, renewable power to supply the needs of the six villages. The idea was to work on short circuits of electricity with a formula called collective self-conception. It followed a new regulation from 2015. And from 2017, we worked on this subject. With European projects, we have studied the mechanism, the regulations, the economy, the operating mode, etc. The plant which is there behind us is one of the first plants that we put in place and which directly supplies voluntary self-consumers. Today there are 38 self-consumers which are partly supplied by this plant. And since, by ministerial decree, we can exchange this electricity or share this electricity over a distance of 20 kilometers in rural areas, we can provide about 20% of the needs of the 38 self-consumers and we intend to continue developing this so as to be able to answer half of the needs of half of the inhabitants of the six villages. An ambitious project, but we are going to take it step by step. The second passion of Acoprev is actually hydrogen. We develop a project, zero emissions in rural areas. The idea is to speed up the movement so that hydrogen can reach rural areas. And one way to speed it up is to be able to offer stations that distribute both hydrogen gas and electric vehicle charging. This project requires an important load of work. There has been a first study in the Diwa to try and assess what amount of gas and hydrogen will be consumed. So that's what we do, explore the premises on this question so that things can be done faster. It is an element of the future organization of mobility. Within this research action concerning the flow of materials and energy, we ask researchers to look into the flow of plastic material because we have a fab lab on our territory. The idea is to know how to reuse plastic waste from the territory to manufacture, for example, local furniture with fab unit. This unit works on experiments and innovations with the aim of spreading its knowledge to other fab labs in the area. As for the transmission axis, production and dissemination of knowledge, we have started to work with the local media. 
and we have set up a radio broadcast program produced by the two local radios at the rate of one broadcast every week with different inputs. Within these radio broadcasts, we also want to give more impact to precise actions, events carried by the various actors of the territory around these questions of ecological and social transition and around all these issues such as taking part and evolving in our ways of deciding and acting together. It has been about 30 years since we started implementing experiments and innovations in the field of agriculture, food, energy, mobility, waste. So we believe that we also have a part in centralizing our experiences and all the work that has been carried out for years, so as to be able to model them and also to transmit them to other territories that want to engage in this type of ecological and social transition. The Bio Valley Association association is above all the actors of the territory. Our part is to identify, to liven up and to promote these initiatives, to create desire, to make them known and to spread these initiatives. The idea is really to act with all the actors of the territory, whether they are members or not of our association. And what matters to us is to go little by little towards as many actors as possible on the territory, taking part in this ecological and social transition which seems desirable for our territory and for the future. These are all the issues that we will have to manage in the years to come.